Hi, I'm Charlie Walker. I'm a three-time space shuttle flyer, flew on uh, missions 41D, 51D, and 61B, twice aboard Discovery, once aboard Atlantis. And I've got a story. On my second flight to space, 51D aboard Discovery, had a moment uh, just before, uh, as I remember it, just before sleep time. Oh, I don't know, third, fourth day of the mission, it was a six day mission at the time, in which uh, myself and uh, Jeff Hoffman, a mission specialist on the flight, decided to float to uh, one of the overhead windows. Now we were in what was called uh, heads down orientation, flying around the earth in orbit. So those overhead windows actually look straight down on the earth, but they're so big that you can look out in panoramic views of this lovely planet beneath us. And we uh, just happened to be coming up on uh, uh, sundown on the Earth's surface, and we were going from sunlight in orbit into the shadow of the Earth. And Jeff and I floated there. Jeff was an astronomer by profession, by training, mission specialist with NASA, uh, NASA in the Astronaut Corps. And uh, we were both looking out the window, but Jeff was very much interested in looking at the stars becoming visible on the night side. I was more interested in looking at the Earth beginning to turn dark below. You could see lightning flashing in the clouds uh, beneath us. And as I was watching this, Jeff was looking up, but his and my attention both were suddenly attracted to a streak of light beneath us as we looked out and down toward the Earth. And both of us momentarily looked at each other and said, meteorite. We looked at a shooting star, not above us as we normally see them here on Earth, of course, they're above us in the sky. Pieces of rock, little grains of sand burning up in the upper atmosphere, meteorites. This one was between us and the Earth. It was a really remarkable uh, experience and one that I really clearly remember to this day.